Ready? <laughs> okay. Are you a good sport? What? So in your first meeting ever for Tetris Effect, were you guys like, ah, I guess we got to make this thing weird? I th yeah, I think. I think so. What's Tetris Effect about? Trippy. In that fiery worship level from Tetris Effect that we saw at E3, what were those people worshiping? Bali. They were uh, worship worshiping Bali? Yeah, Bali God. Wow. Yeah, the Bali God, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Is Bali in the game? Yeah. Uh, Other than Tetris Effect, what's your favorite Tetris game of all time? Arcade. Okay. Sega Arcade. Yeah. In the dev tools for Tetris Effect, can you just make uh, infinite straight lines and is it just like the most satisfying thing of all time? Yeah, so good. <laughs> Feel good. Yeah. You can do it and it yeah, feels yeah, yeah. so good. It's so good. At any time, just any psh, time. boom. Yeah, Tetris, Tetris, Tetris. <laughs> boom, Tetris, <laughs> boom, Tetris. Tetris, Tetris, Tetris. Uh, What's your favorite Western game that came out this year? No, I couldn't play at all this year. <laughs> Just only Tetris Effect. What's the most satisfying moment of your professional life? Tetris Effect. Just developing Tetris Effect? Yeah. So every time, you know, the, the newest project is very exciting to me. Yeah. So I don't want to go back. Would you ever want to see a Dreamcast uh, classic console someday? Yes. Yes. What games need to be on that? Space Shuttle 5. Did you like watching people play your games in the arcade? Yes, very much. Which one was your favorite to watch? Um, no, it's Tetris Effect. What about yeah. in the arcade, though? When I was made a Sega Rally, first one, arcade, all, you know, all day we went to the arcade game center and uh, watching the people and, uh, you know, watch the reaction, you know, the people like, uh, you know, to play and, uh, you know, after game over, it's, uh, you know, some people, you know, kick. <laughs> the arcade machine or some people you know say you know, sh sh like that yeah yeah so and uh but that kind of people coming back yeah then you know it's maybe a good you know, thing. five minutes later or yeah. ten minutes later <laughs> so yeah. everybody you know uh, you know i was so you know like yes yeah exactly <laughs> yes <laughs> you know we got the engagement <laughs> finally what do you think is the greatest arcade game of all time hang on is that the hang on yeah, oh, okay. Uh, it's a bike. Yu Suzuki's. Yu Suzuki's. Oh. 80s, I think. Did you like the one that you had to actually lean on? Uh, no, I didn't. You know, it's like a, the big controller. Yeah. You know, under my... It's an actual bike, yeah. <laughs> right. Under your yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was so su surprised and I was shocked. Shocked because, you know, what? What is this, you know, in an arcade game center? The whole bike just right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you did the whole car with Sega Rally. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole car that was on mnemonics. A, yeah, that <laughs> was a, my dream, one, one of my dreams. How much did that cost, that arcade cabinet? Uh, Sorry, I'm taking no, over No, please, have at it. No, no, no. Oh, maybe I got, we got a uh, car from Toyota. Mm -hmm. That was like, uh, you know, the promotion exchange. A lot of people bought that car because of that game, too. Yeah. Yeah. I contributed to Toyota. Yes. You should be getting <laughs> much shares still. You can march royalty. into the headquarters right now. You own the place, man. But that had to have been... Fifty I don't think so. Not interested in racing anymore? Yeah, I did that a lot. What don't we know about Sega in the 90s? What don't we appreciate? Freedom. The creative, creative freedom. Creative freedom. Yeah. There was very really good atmosphere. You know, we had the competition, each other, mm -hmm. but, you know, cooperation and uh, no senior, no teacher. You know, everybody 20s, you know, was 20s including me and uh yeah that was that was very you know good time mm. was it your favorite time in the game industry yeah but still keeping <laughs> the same feeling mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> keep yeah, rolling yeah. man yeah all the time you know the the new technology is coming and the no teacher you know for us you know 
So all the time is a new adventure. Very exciting. Do you remember 99 Nights? Yes, very well, much. Why did you have to make the trolls so sad in that game? That inspiration was um, Rush Omen by Kurosawa. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, that was a great movie. And uh, what is justice type of movie, right? Right. So, you know, it depends on the point of view, the feel, emotion, and the you know, humanity. What is the justice? It's a totally changed for everybody. So, and uh, we needed that kind of a sad story too. Who's the most talented game developer you've ever met? Ueda Fumito. Oh, really? Yeah. And wh- why is that? So he's very pure. He's so pure. And he loves the games. And he's, you know, deeply thinking about what is that new game experience with storytelling, emotional kind of involvement. So, yeah, he has uh, not, you know, too much words. All the time, you know, he's a little bit silent. Quiet guy. Yeah, yeah, quiet guy. But he's so talented, I think. How's he doing now? Have you talked to him recently? I haven't seen him in last six months, I think. So, But he's starting the new project, right? Mm. Yeah. Have you interacted much with the folks from Harmonix? Uh, Alex is my very good my friend. Yeah. He's old friend. So I met him uh, in, I think, 2000. No, I was going to 1999, maybe. Oh, wow. So in the middle of the production, Rez, he's very good, my friend. Would you ever consider uh, working on a game with them? I never th- thought about that. Yeah, good rival and a good competition <laughs> and a good yeah. friend. Do you ever listen to Mark's podcast? So because, you know, I'm talking with Mark all day. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear his voice you know, anymore. So I why would yeah, you? He's you know sitting beside me and uh, I'm yeah. sitting beside the Mark. Yeah. And he's uh, a living podcast. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, get, you get enough of it. Yeah. You get enough of me enough. already. That's enough. Did you play Astrobot? Not yet. I have it in my bag. Did you guys see that hilarious VR sequence from the Johnny English Strikes Again trailer? Is this a Mr. Bean movie? Yeah, he thinks he's in VR. Oh, and it God. gets wacky because he ends up punching human beings in the face <laughs> on the street. No. <laughs> You'd love it, Mark. Virtual reality. It's completely immersive and some people lose all track of their actual surroundings. <sighs> That's not going to happen. Why doesn't the Avatar and Rez fly like Superman or fly in a more comfortable <laughs> way? <laughs> That's Superman. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Rez. What's the weirdest thing you ever did in that vibration suit that you made for Res Infinite? Um, yeah, sometimes I'm losing my consciousness. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a feel good. Anyway, feel good. You know, 26 <laughs> vibration moving on your body with the music, with texture. Right. Yeah. So just when you want to relax, yeah. you just put it on. Imagine. Is your gaming chair at home just a washing machine? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you ever see a construction worker on the sidewalk with a jackhammer and just want to go hug it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it. Here's a tough question. Which culture do you think is healthier emotionally, Japan or America? I think it's the United States. Interesting. Why is that? So we have some like filter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In a, in a public, mm-hmm. sometimes, yes. So, and, uh, but I think that you should make the right answer. <laughs> yeah, Mark, what's the call, man? Oh, that one's so tough. I get, uh, I'm going to get a lot of people pissed at me, whichever one I choose. I, I'm, I think I've been there now long enough to, it, they both have big time. Yeah. Pluses and minuses. There's very different pluses and minuses. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, US is also, yeah. Which one is emotionally healthier, man? I That's tough to say because there's some messed up stuff on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> there's some real messed up stuff on both sides. Uh, and there's yeah. some good parts on both sides, but yeah. yeah. Is this but, a situation where I need to push you on the podcast to come down on an answer? I is think this what you, you do, like? yeah. Okay. I, it's fine. 
Mm. Japanese culture is fine. <laughs> ben, Everything US has their pluses fine. and minuses. Yeah. Yeah. Who can choose? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. All right. Yeah. He goes with Japan. <laughs> uh, what was it like working with Sakurai on Medios? Yeah, that was a wonderful experience. So, and he's so great game designer. He's so great. So, uh, he can design the details. So, this is like a sculpture. Mm. His own sculpture. Huh. Yeah, yeah. And that's his magic? Is he so focused on details? Yeah. And uh, he has the vision all the time, you know, the detail vision. So, and uh, he, all the time, he knows what is the best tuning for this game. What's the best structure, architecture for this idea? So, I remember that's what Awada said about him. That he that he said his special skill was was that he could imagine the final product down to the details before having to go in and play it and tune it. He already knew. Okay, this is how much damage that should take, and this is how, like, yeah. to a crazy level of detail where anyone else would just build it and then figure it out the rest of the way. Right. 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 Perfect. Uh, whose idea was uh, Medios Disney Magic? I forgot about that. Uh, did Sakurai try really hard to get the Smash Brothers bubble UI into Medios? I don't think so. Uh, while you're at Q Entertainment, did you guys ever consider making a game called The Storm? I don't think so. What system is selling the best for Luminous Remastered? Switch. Is yep. it Switch? Switch mm -hmm. by a mile? Yes. What was the first album you bought with your own money? Yeah, it's a British pop uh, style council. What is it? Style Council. Style Council? Yeah. Are you a good dancer? Yes, in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Only Space Channel yeah, 5? like a Space Channel 5, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had the ro role in Space Channel 5, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Which one? I was a uh, as, um, teacher. Have you ever thrown an invisible rope on a friend to try and get them on the dance floor? Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> What's your favorite song of all time? <sighs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> so tough. Last song you really enjoyed, maybe? Oasis. What is it? Oasis. Oasis? Yeah. yeah. I listen to Champagne Supernova in an airplane. <laughs> so it's Champagne Supernova is your favorite song? Yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in an airplane and, uh, you know, falling asleep. So with Tetris Effect, uh, are you going to have just normal-ass Tetris in this thing, or is it all going to be funky, trippy tri Tetris? Yeah, yes, yes. You get we got normal Tetris, too. Yeah. Two-player support at all in the game? Nope. Maybe a patch in the future? Maybe. Will the music in the final level in Tetris Effect be the Tetris theme? You're talking about the Russian music? Yeah. Secret. Interesting. So it might be in the game after all. Secret. Secret. What is the worst Tetris piece? Square. The o, oh. And then you, yeah, the O block. Uh, how much of a cut of every game sold does the Tetris company get? Hmm? No comment. Too much? Uh, no. I, I would say it's a, it's very, in our case, I can only speak to our case, but I would say in our case, it's actually very fair. I'm, I'm not just saying that. I would just tell you to cut it <laughs> if I was just, <laughs> if, I, if I didn't believe that. But uh, thanks to Miz, yeah, I would say thanks very so fair. Will the sequel be called Tetris Effect Andromeda? <laughs> <laughs> no. What's frustrating about working with the Western press? Mm, no, no, no. Well, you guys don't. All the time, it's fun. I'll say for yeah, my yeah. point, you Please. don't you don't send us all of your coverage and and reviews before to edit. Yeah. <laughs> Classic mistake from the West. Yes. Yeah. So Michael Jackson demanded to be in Space Channel Five. Yes. And you couldn't say no. No, I couldn't, because um, you know he's like God. How did that happen? So uh, you know Michael Jackson. Um, often he came to Sega to check the new games at the time. So, and uh, he found the many games, you know, under developing games. And uh, uh, somebody showed the Space Channel 5. And I think that he wanted to appear in the game. So I got an offer from him, but just right before a month of the, you know, project finish end so that was a really tough decision to me because you know we need to ship 
you know, four weeks later. Mm. But uh, I got an offer from him mm. at that timing. Mm. So, yeah, we had a meeting <laughs> in the team, you know, how can we express that kind of, uh, you know, uh, feel? Yeah. So everybody respect to him. And, uh, you know, we got a big inspiration from his music videos and the music itself. Mm. And uh, so, okay, let's think about the idea. Um, we can prepare just, you know, the small, small, tiny role. Mm. And the guy named Space Michael was embedded by Alien and the Force to Dance. And you can, you know, the player can save Michael Jackson. And uh, yeah, this is the best, you know, offer from us. Mm. You know, we can do that because, you know, we can change a character. Right. Yeah, that's it. Right. And uh, we add the, the music and the sounds and the dialogue from Michael Jackson. And uh, so we expected he refuse our offer because this is not, you know, the main character. Mm. But the, he said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did he want to star in your next game then? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next game, Space Channel 5 Part 2, we gave him a big role. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Did he do mocap for that? Uh, Sega did uh, mocap before. Uh, I said long, long, long years ago. With Michael Jackson? With Michael Jackson. Really? After Moonwalker, I think. Uh, it's probably as part of Moonwalker. Yeah, yeah. But oh, the, after the game Moonwalker. Yeah, uh. after the game. So old, old, you know, long years ago. Mm. So we tried to use that kind of, uh, you know, the motion data. But I think it's a too rough mm. and the too old. Gotcha. So we made his debut, uh, you know, animation by hand at the time. So anyway, I got, uh, I never, I know, I, I don't remember. Uh, I, I, I never forget about that. I got a tape from Michael Jackson, his dialogue, you know, in Space Channel 5. You know, I asked to him, you know, okay, please say, uh, uh, help, help, uh, you know, uh, ooh la la, help. And, so it wasn't uh, in a recording booth? You didn't go with him to a recording booth? You just so had he, to I think that he recorded in his, his, his private, own. yeah, you know, and he sent studio. you a tape. I and uh, I got a tape from him and I listened to that. So I was so shocked because tension was, his tension was so low. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, his tension is pretty nice, but uh, the other characters, you know, of yeah. Space Channel 5 is so high. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know... This, tension is like the a, level of, yeah, like, excitement mismatch. or, like, you know, it giving it his all. So he was just coming into the mic and going, help, help, help. Yeah, 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 like that. Oh, and no. I asked to him, you know... So you had to go to Michael Jackson yeah. with notes yeah. and say, yeah. uh, step it up. Yeah. Excuse me, God, not good enough. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you settle this whole thing? He did contribute in some way to Sonic 3's soundtrack, right? I think so. Do you know how much? I don't know. Okay. That was not my, not my project. <laughs> Last question. Would you sign our Dreamcast issue of Game Informer that, so that we can auction it off during Extra Life for charity this year? Yes, yeah, sure. Hell yeah. That sounds yeah, sure. that's awesome. All right, yeah. The cover isn't the kindest thing. Oh, wow. Uh, it's wow. A classic. Ignore the ready to blow uh, <laughs> big text on Ooh, there. <laughs> okay. Somebody was getting creative with the, uh, <laughs> the creative photography. Oh. Yeah, it's really all right I need. I think Dreamcast. the story is I think a game fell through and it was just, all right, here we go. Dreamcast ready to blow. That's going to be the cover story. So you here. got those M80s still from, from 4th of July? Hell yeah. Over? Um, now we could be careful because if this gets wiped, it might just wipe right off there. Right, we'll let it sit there for a little yeah. while. Okay. Sweet. Extra Life this year, November 3rd. We'll auction it off. That was just a clip from a larger show called The Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us. 